And I kind of wondered like, why is this interesting to so many people? And then I remembered you can ignite stuff and you can shock people. So these are two reasons that are probably way too much fun. And of course I will link and list all these modules in the description. So go ahead, check it out. Let's compare. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Friday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is another high voltage module comparison. So let's get it. By the way, all product reviews, maybe? Right here, watch them all. But before we get started, of course, out to all my subscribers, thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to get back with a sweet, sweet video. Now, the first comparison already has 10,000 views. So there is a peculiar interest in these high voltage modules. And by now, I bought pretty much all of them. I literally bought every single one that I found. And over there on my table, there are freaking 13 of them. So let's take a closer look. And also a lot of viewers of the first video wondered, well, is it actually true what they state? Mind you, all of them are bought directly from China. So probably not, but I will find out in my next vlog. Well, I want to find out more about that. And I plan on doing so with basically measuring the spark length. But for now, I will just show you all the modules, talk about them and go for a basic demonstration. Oh my God, there are actually 14, but this one I haven't even opened up. Well, 14 in total, four, five, six, seven, eight different modules, seven, seven different modules. God damn it. This one right here was the first one that I started with. We're looking at one euro 33 cents, 15 kilovolts and 3.7 volt input. Then this is something fairly similar. There is another transistor, another coil and lots of other funny, funny things. I just built this thing. These two are probably pretty similar. And by the way, if you're interested in a build tutorial for this one, check out this vlog right here. Fairly weird to wire it up, but this one came with a manual. And by the way, this one's worth one euro 92 cents, 20 kilovolts and 3.7 to 7.2 volts. Next up, we have the pulse modules. This was the first pulse module and the second module all in all, I think for one buck and 86 cents, 400 kilovolts apparently is what they say and three to six volts of input. I use this module in my DIY taser build. Definitely check it out. So funny. I also tested this module on me and friends and you can find this vlog in the cards of the other vlog. Then there we have the big brother of this one, two euro 60 cents thousand kilovolts apparently and 3.7 to 7.4 volts. So yes, this one can take two 18650 batteries. They can only take one. And these are pulse modules, by the way, and these are high pressure modules or arc modules, I guess. Speaking of high pressure, here are four more. I bought them for the flame fist and apparently I paid one euro and 75 cents for this one. 20 kilovolts, 3.6 to 6 volts. So only one 18650 battery for this one. And these two are fairly interesting because these are are pulse modules, so they are similar to these. But as you can see, apparently they can take two 18650s just like the big one and we will put them to the test. Both of them, they claim 1000 kilovolts and as I said, 3.7 to 7.4 volts of input. So let's get to demonstration, starting with the least potent ones, going up to the more interesting ones. I'm using a power supply with an output of four volts and I will use four volts for all of them. So this one is a 15 kilovolt. That's cute. There's the spark right there. This one will already give you a nasty shock if you touch them. Let's try the new module, 20 kilovolts apparently. Too great of a distance. N no, never mind. it's not working at all. Yeah, these modules, they, they kind of suck. Really not worth getting them. So let's move on to another 20 kilovolt high pressure module. There is really no need to build a kit because for the same price you will most likely get a module in a case encased in resin so that's definitely the first learning 20 kv apparently right there it's a nice arc oh my god look at the length of this thing whoa That's a very beautiful arc right there, but essentially the same thing as these two. So skip the set and get yourself something like that. As I said, I got myself four of them for the flame fist. I actually bought six or something like that. Anyways, let's move on to the first pulse module and now it's gonna get loud. Oh my God, it's three o'clock AM. That's a really stupid idea right there, but well, I have to do it for the vlog. 
That's this one right here. Let's actually get right to the big brother. I'm already extremely curious what will happen if I actually apply the 7.4 volts to this one. But 4 volts will look something like this. Oh my god. Fairly similar. We have to look into that in the next vlog. It's gonna be interesting. There's yet another pulse module and there are two rectangular ones. There is a big one, which is kind of flat, and there is a smaller one, which is a bit thicker. Let's test the smaller one. Why is this one is completely dead? Let's amp up the voltage. Okay, 6.2. Oh my god, okay, it just did something. Whoa, back to four. It just won't do anything with four volts. Okay, up to 5.2, nothing. Oh. So this one needs a higher voltage, that's crazy. And now let's get to this flat one. And as I said in my next vlog, I will compare the spark length at different voltages probably to find the best module. A high voltage module shootout. It seems that it's kind of similar. Oh my God, oh my God, that was too much. That was eight volts right there. But this one, I don't know what's going on. This one is not working. What is going on? This one's bad, what the hell? Why though? It's not even making a sound. Well, maybe I will get this to work in the next vlog. So expensive, this one was so freaking expensive, why? And by the way, when it gets to these pulse modules, the frequency, a AKA the sparks per second or something like that, the number will increase the closer the distance is. So that means at a rather close distance, it will do something like and at a wider distance, it will do something like you get what I mean? So differences in this regard do not matter. So these are all the high voltage modules that I bought that I found that you will probably find on these Chinese websites, also on eBay. And I kind of wondered like, why is this interesting to so many people and then I remembered you can ignite stuff and you can shock people so these are two reasons that are probably way too much fun another idea would be an arc lighter that will be flame fist progress and also a taser with this one. Oh my god this is gonna hurt for sure but yeah that's enough progress for uh, this vlog smash the like button the way I can probably smash this one in into the trash because it's just not doing anything. <gasps> another idea would be to remove the resin. That would be another cool idea. But anyways, bang the bell like crap, crap, to never miss product reviews. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.